My name is François Payard and we are at Payard Patisserie and Bistro and this is my ultimate sandwich. It's a sandwich with macaron and ice cream. Over here, what we have, we have almond flour. Pretty much the same recipe that we use for every macaron. Over here, we have a confectionate sugar. And the first thing we will do, we will do the panade. The panade is the recipe how to make the macaron. And in French, they call it the panade. Alors, if you don't want to use the French word, you can do the mix, whatever. Now we have the egg white. Alors, it don't look like an egg white like that. What I have, I have a food coloring. And we're using really like a natural food coloring, a little bit of yellow. We put the yellow into the panel. And it's, voila. For the meringue, very simple. Over here we have the egg white. You see, we pour the egg white over here. We'll put them in the mixer. Over here, we will do the sugar. Alors ici, normally, the water should be just enough to dissolve the sugar. It should be, don't be no more than that. Look at that. You see? Voilà. Okay, let's cook the sugar. And now the sugar is cooked. Now we will pour into the meringue. I will raise the speed of the egg white and little by little, very important, you can see, I'm using only one, one side of the bowl. At least it doesn't go all around the bowl. Voila. You can see the egg white are getting fluffy. The, the bowl is very warm, the meringue is very hot. What we need to do now, we just need to let the meringue cool down a little bit. It will take two minutes. Now, I want to show you, look. Look at the meringue. Beautiful, moussey and little firm. Alors, at this point, what I will do, I will pour half of the meringue inside, look. Voila. I will add a little bit more. I'm looking to incorporate the meringue slowly by slowly to the panade. And now I stop. And now at this point, I will finish everything by hand. Alors, voilà. At this point, I will use a piping bag. Alors, what we do us is like that, look. We we'll use a little bit of the almond flour. We need to let it dry for two, three hours. If they're not dry enough, they will crack. Don't forget, it's a big macaron. Well, they look perfect. We need to just flip them over. Now you really have to allow the, the macaron to cool down very much. It cannot be warm if you put the ice cream. That's really the ice cream that we have. And what we do ourselves, we do a tray of coconut and a tray of mango, and we marble the whole tray like that to get this beautiful cocoa mango. We want like a third, you know? Alors, after the tray is done, we have all this bar, and we have to make approximately the same size of the macaron, alors. We will sample one, look, voila. When you have one, you can cut all of them, you see? After that, you see, boom. You're putting them over here like that. Now what you do, you can see, look. Now you will sandwich them, voila. I am François Payard and this is my ultimate sandwich. Thanks for watching. Don't miss the season finale of the Why Would You Eat That Challenge when we crown a new king of all eats. This ain't your grandmother's biscuits and gravy. Take a bite out of this Cajun-inspired dude food breakfast. Show me the curry's Hetel Janu introduces us to her ultimate sandwich, a spicy veggie wrap with paneer cheese on naan. 
Yum. We took your favorite deep fried chili pepper snack and stuffed it in a southern style cornbread muffin. Bon appetit. Subscribe for more free tasted treats.